Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna do a few days in my life. I thought I would just bring you guys around on a few days, but currently I am about to head out and go to a coffee shop this morning with Alan. We are exploring some new coffee shops now that we have time, now that it's kind of just final season and there's like days free, we thought we would go and explore some new coffee shops to work at and get our schoolwork and studying done. So we're heading out to a new one this morning that actually just opened up and Alan has been bugging me to go as soon as it opened for a while. So I'm excited to go try this new coffee shop out. So I'm excited to go try this new coffee shop out. I feel like there's not a ton going on this week other than some studying for exams and stuff. from my little study work date this morning. I got a fair bit done, but we we need to have a little life update and life chat because a few things. One, I will likely be engaged by the end of the year. You guys, you guys. <laughs> so this past weekend, Alan asked my dad for his blessing and Obviously my dad said yes, we've been together for so long and I know my parents both support our relationship. So to which Alan said that I have to be ready for him to ask anytime. Like anytime now is fair game and he can basically just ask whenever, like we both have mutually agreed that anytime that he sees fit and he has a ring and he has it all situated and set up, like he can ask. So that means that I always have to be ready though. Like we need to get these nails done. Hair always has to be ready. Makeup needs to be decent. Like is he taking me out for a nice dinner or is he planning something to propose? Are we going on vacation or is he planning to propose? Um, and basically we've been talking about it like seriously, I wanna say for the last like seven to eight months. And so it's kind of just been an impending like when are you gonna to talk to my dad? When are we fully ready? Like, are we ever going to be fully ready? And so that's that's possibly happening. And I told him I really want him to vlog the whole process and like show me the behind the scenes afterwards and stuff. And I am literally like, I feel like I have not stopped smiling and not stopped beaming since this weekend and knowing that he is going to ask at some point soon, which is craziness. But I also know that we've been together for so long and we mentally are like ready, we're mature to know that like it's only us. And I feel like we were kind of at the point of like, what are we like really waiting for? We're graduating, we both have solid jobs. Yeah, so I just really wanted to update you guys on that because I feel like that's a really big thing. And of course I'm gonna do a whole like series and vlog everything. I just feel like life is changing so much, but changing in so many good ways. And I know you guys are gonna support me in whatever I do, and I'm so thankful for all of you. I just, I feel like sometimes I'm not ready for the change, and I hope you guys are ready for the change as well, because I definitely I feel like in the next year, going to be so many changes coming and just so many different things. And I'm so excited to be done school. Like I feel like this, these next two weeks are just like dragging on and I'm ready to be in the next phase of life. Like I'm kind of already in the next phase of life, but school is just dragging out. Anyways, that is kind of my thought process. And I feel like I've been talking about this for a while, of feeling just kind of done with school and like ready to move on to the next phase of life and bring you guys with me. And I'm excited for it. Definitely going to like focus way more on the health and fitness side of things that I do and just really I think dive into that more and I'd also love to know what like post grad and like what content you guys want to see if it's just daily life more health and fitness like I would love to know as well what you guys want to see more of but that is my little update not even little update my very big very exciting update but I'm actually gonna get ready to head to the gym now 
then come home, study some more. These exams are not going to prepare themselves. So I'm gonna go get a quick workout in and then come back and study for the evening. I am home from the gym. I showered and just washed my hair, but I recently picked up the Timo ring from Walmart. I have been seeing this all over social media and it is a comb style straightener. So you just like comb through your hair and it straightens it. And so I really wanted to try it out with you guys today. It has five different heat level settings and I currently just have it on the third because I have pretty thin hair. But first thing is first, we need to put on a little bit of heat protectant spray. All right, while that dries in my hair, I wanted to show you guys what else came in the box. So first up is this little silk satiny pouch to keep the tool in. It also came with these two styling clips, which I think I'll actually use to clip up my hair while I get the under pieces. It also came with this little scalp massage detangling brush, as well as a little heat protective glove if you like to use that, especially if I'm with shorter hair and bang pieces. Sometimes you really wanna hold them and not burn your fingers and just get really close to the root to make sure it's all nice and straight. Okay, I'm just gonna clip up the upper pieces so that I can really get at all of the little wavies and bits that are underneath. Also, this video is in partnership with Timo, so a big thank you to them for partnering with me on today's video, but let's see how this goes. My hair is naturally kind of wavy straight, so it does have like some little curls in it right now just because it's freshly washed. Let's see how this goes. Okay, you guys, that works so well and it's so easy to use, especially for someone that's not the best with heat styling tools. You literally just comb through it and it straightens it. I'm gonna go through and do the rest of my hair and then show you guys the final result. All right, you guys, and here is the end result. I am so impressed at how well that straightened my hair and how easy it was to use as well. I'm obsessed, I love it. But Timo is now available at Walmart all across Canada, so be sure to go stop in your local Walmart and check it out. I will also have all of the links for Timo down in the description box below, but I would highly recommend. It is so easy to use and straighten my hair so unbelievably well, and now my hair is all silky smooth and like all my frizzies are gone. I am in love, I definitely would recommend. But the plan for the rest of the evening is just to study and make dinner and kind of have a chill study night. I still have quite a bit of studying to do for my exams coming up, so that is kind of what the rest of the evening is looking like. I just put on this little workout set and got dressed this morning because I do not feel like going to the gym today, but I figured that if I get dressed and put myself a little bit together, I'm at least one step closer. And I just have a lot of work to do this morning. I have a final essay to finish and then other studying to do. So I feel like in a little bit, I might want to go to the gym and take like a break, but I'm about to make oatmeal for breakfast because that is my favorite like pre-workout breakfast if I'm going to do like a mid-morning workout is to just have some oats with like almond butter and fruit and chia seeds. 
but today is like not the busiest day like i said i have a lot of studying and stuff to do alan is going to come over a little bit later today because we actually have to finish planning our itinerary for london our trip is literally in just over a month and we haven't finalized everything yet so he's gonna come over and do that because we're also going out tonight to like this little dumpling making class we thought it'd be fun and be like a good break from studying so that's kind of what's happening today i thought the dumpling class looked cute and like just something to give us a little bit of a break it's a little bit later but i finished that essay that i needed to do and i got a little bit of studying done and i'm feeling up to go do a workout so i'm gonna head out to the gym also this is the set today it's just this little blue set from set active i am craving a little bit of movement i feel like just after sitting for the last almost three hours and working i definitely need to get up and like move around a little bit <laughs> to you guys how happy I am that we can walk outside with no coat on. I really could just be wearing a t-shirt right now but it is so beautiful and it's gonna be beautiful for the rest of the week and it just makes me so so happy but I'm quickly going to go stop at Dollarama because there's a few things that I remembered I needed to pick up so that is what we are headed to do right now. at the dollar store on the way home from the gym and just picked up some necessities as well as some cleaning supplies to finally be able to properly clean my balcony windows this year but i almost picked up lunch from imperfect eats i really wanted the chipotle chicken wrap and it was wednesday and that was like their deal of the day and i walked in and they were all out of chicken they said they only had eggs or tofu and it would be regular price for the wrap and i was like this is my sign to make lunch at home because I have both eggs and tofu still at home. So I'm kind of sad that I didn't get my chipotle chicken wrap, but at the same time, that was absolutely my sign to just tell myself that I should be making lunch at home and not picking it up. But if I am ever just like on a whim picking up lunch out, I find that I tend to go to Imperfect Eats a lot. I love their bowls. I love their wraps. It's all like fresh and so good. I don't know if it's just a chain in Toronto, but they are delicious and relatively reasonably priced too. Definitely pro tip, especially if you're in Toronto and you haven't tried, try them. So good. <laughs> For lunch today, I just made a quick little salad with some spinach, cucumber, red cabbage, broccoli, and then some green olives, and then olive oil and red wine vinegar as a dressing. And then I think I'm gonna either fry up some tofu or eggs as my protein on the side. For dinner tonight, I'm thinking of wearing this little Academy top because it's so warm out, um, but I haven't styled it yet. It's like this little open blouse. I feel like it's the first nice day and I can finally wear like a little t-shirt, maybe a pair of jeans. Here's the final look. I just threw on these black Princess Polly jeans, Lacademy top, and then this little black shoulder bag. But the dumpling making's at Dasha and Dasha has been on my list to go to just as a restaurant for a while. So I'm really excited that we found like a little activity to do tonight as well as I get to try a new restaurant.
We are dressed, we are ready for the day. This morning so far, I've just been kind of studying and reviewing notes because today is exam day one. So my exam is from five to seven this evening. I'm thinking I'm gonna head to campus around two to three just to be there and kind of be ready and be prepared and I'll study on campus. But I actually have to go grocery shopping right now. It's currently 11. There's a few little things that I need to pick up and I'm kind of like just going to get out of the house before my exam, kind of get out some exam jitters. But it is a beautiful spring day. I am leaving the house in a t-shirt in the middle of April. Never would have thought that that would be happening, but it has been beautiful this week. But we are heading out to go grocery shop. Like I said, there's just a few things that I have to pick up, come home, probably study for a bit more before heading out to campus for my first, my first last exam. I also just got these two new phone cases in. I feel like they're really fun for spring and you guys are always asking where my cases are from. They are all from Casetify. I think that's the only phone case I've ever put on my phone and I love them, but I feel like these are very springy and I'm going to change my Nest case to one of these two just to like spice things up. I'm definitely someone who likes changing my phone case a lot and I thought these two were both like really pretty for spring, both like the green and then the blue and this just says for the good days ahead, which I thought was really cute. The grocery haul is always bigger than I expect it to be because I just always forget how much I need when I end up going to the grocery store. So let's do a haul, let's get into it. First up, arugula spinach mix. Um, just regular, I feel like salads and I tend to have a salad almost every single day or some sort of greens with either lunch or dinner. New balsamic vinegar, I was out and I typically use this for salad dressings. Siggy's plain Greek yogurt, my favorite right now. 19 grams of protein per serving. You know we gotta get the protein in, we're trying to muscle up right now. We also got a yellow and a red bell pepper, some avocados, mangoes, mixed cherry tomatoes, refill of my hemp hearts. I love these in smoothies, on fruit bowls, even on salads sometimes too. Raspberries, bananas, eggs. Got a thing of lentils and a thing of chickpeas, some cucumbers. And then the last thing, this was my favorite grocery store find of the last little while and it is these protein up wraps. So 10 grams of protein per wrap, which is pretty crazy considering a normal wrap, I feel like only has around three. So we love that helping me hit my protein daily intake goals. But that is the full grocery haul. I'm gonna put this away and get back to studying for a bit before my exam. <laughs> I think my fridge needs a little bit of a reorganization, but honestly, that's something that I'm probably gonna put off until I'm done exams next week because it's just not something that I feel like dealing with right now, but it definitely is something that will need to be done again soon. All right, y'all, we're about to head out to write my first exam of my last exam season. Let's go. Just finished exam number one. I think it was okay. I'm not gonna say it was great because honestly, I didn't think I was that prepared for it, but it was okay. We are now headed to go pick up a post exam bubble tea because that is what we're craving right now. And so it's like a little reward after the first exam is done. Two more left after this next week. Tonight we are having an absolute self-care night in and I don't know what is more self-care to me than doing a little bit of skincare. I just did a little sheet face mask and I made a giant plate of sweet potato fries because my absolute favorite comfort food that I can just easily toss together at home. I'm gonna throw on a movie 
and call it a night. I'm gonna sit here, watch a movie, eat my sweet potato fries, and just kind of have a chill night in. After that exam in the last kind of week of studying, gonna take a little bit of a mental break before I know I have a weekend of studying ahead for my next two exams. But I'm gonna end off today's vlog here. I know we will have lots more chats and updates about a possible engagement and planning and all that fun stuff soon but stay tuned for all that. I feel like life, like I mentioned before, is just gonna be changing a lot in the next few months and I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too and just everything that is coming. I'm so excited to keep creating content for you guys and just sharing more of my life and every day. We definitely will be having more like working girl vlogs and like days in my life working and kind of just transitioning from like school into work and everyday life in the early 20s and I hope you guys enjoy and I'm sure a lot of you are kind of in this transition period with me so I'm excited to kind of be there with you and kind of like I guess be your big sis and help you through that as well because I know that like at least for me I feel like this transition period of last year and transitioning into not being in school anymore has been a weird very big period of change and like I've mentioned there's a lot of other big changes I feel like going to be happening in my life soon and I am excited and scared and I feel like I hear fireworks going on outside and I have no clue why but excited and scared to kind of move into this next chapter of life but if any of you are kind of going through this by yourself I want to make sure that you guys don't feel alone as well those fireworks are really, really loud, but I'm going to call it a night. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I love you all so much. Bye!